Joel Barbara, the managing director. Esther Liaka, the programmer. Julia Kasey, the finance manager. Violet Selim, the marketing manager. Alela the research manager. We are Team Icons presenting Self Drive. Road is the main mode of transport in Kenya, and approximately 80% of Kenyans use public service vehicles, popularly known as Matatu or Matri, whatever you call it. But according to the government statistics, road accidents is the eighth leading cause of death in Kenya. Also, from the World Health Organization, 3,000 to 13,000 Kenyans lose their lives to road accidents, in which a third of these deaths are among passengers who die in an unsafe forms of road accidents. According to the recently published World Health Global Status Report on Red on Road Safety, there are no laws for helmet wearing, blood alcohol concentration level for drivers, child restraints, and where these laws do exist, they are poorly enforced. There is need for us enacting measures towards reducing mortality, morbidity, disability, and increased cost for healthcare evolving from preventable road accidents. And that is why we as Team Icons decided to find a solution to road accidents caused by human errors. Safe Drive, an, an Android application that uses cutting edge technologies such as artificial intelligence and Google Maps to reduce road accidents. Once one has downloaded the app, they'll be required to sign up as a law enforcer, as a driver, or as a passenger. After signing up, they'll be required to log in with the initially created credentials so as, to, so as to select on any services depending on what they want. The services provided by our app are road safety tips to educate the user, speed manager to monitor the speed, speak out to report reckless driving, and, re and view road accident statistics. But if the driver is completed and the speed is well above the speed limit, then the app sends a red alert and prompts the user to report a complaint stating the vehicle's number plate, the vehicle's location, and the reason for report. These features are all applicable to all users. So what special features do we have for the driver? Initially, we had the thought of including data on black spots to help our drivers be on the lookout. But during the research and development, we visualized the road accidents data and realized that road accidents occur on almost every road over time. That is why we came up with an accident predicting features which informs the driver on a likelihood of an accident occurring and preventing it before it happens. This is made possible by using a prediction model made using Firebase ML kit using attributes such as weather, time, traffic, location, and historical accident data. One will ask themselves why we have the law enforcement officers as one of our users. Let me bring it home. It is simple to bring law and order to our roads. Once they are logged in, they get access to all the reports that have been made but are not yet resolved. When they click on the report detail, they get to see the number plate of the vehicle, the current location of the vehicle, the reason for reporting, and a graph showing the speed of the vehicle from when the app was started. Once the complaint has been resolved, the officer clicks resolved and it is removed from the complaints screen. During the research and development, acquisition of detailed road accident data was, ha was quite hard and the accident prediction feature in our app required a lot of data. That is why we decided to add the report accident functionality to help us acquire data needed to improve our prediction model, as well as make data accessible to public for research purposes. In our first rollout, we are targeting the residents of Kakamega. We are targeting at least 20,000 users. Our main source of income will be sponsorship, partnership, and donations from persons of good in. But our app will be free to all users. We, are, we will need a startup capital of $10,000 to bring the app to market. We are looking forward to partner up with government authorities such as police officers, NTSA, NGOs, such as moderate safety and marketing. Our app will be marketed using mainstream media such as television and radio, social media services such as Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, and printing media such as magazines and journals. We're also planning to have campaigns on road safety which will help us advertise our app. It is true that road accident is a real menace in Kenya. That is why Safe Drive will come in handy. Safe Drive, do we shout salama barabara?